Hello everyone, my name is Anatoly and today I'm watching Lord of the Rings for the first time ever. Although I've read the books about five years ago, I've never got to see the cinematic adaptation of them. Therefore, I have the holy task of fixing that today. God, the soundtrack. Jesus, it, it pierces a part of my soul. It began with the forging of the great rings. Three were given to the elves. I'm an elf, ladies and gentlemen. By Seven the way. to the dwarf lords. Nine rings were gifted to the race of men, for within these rings was bound the strength and will to govern each race. But they were all of them deceived, for another ring was made. The Dark Lord Sauron forged in secret a master ring to control... Is this how Sauron others. looks like? And into this ring... That, that's not the way I was picturing him in my head. He looks like a cyberpunk character. To rule them all. But there were some who resisted. The last alliance of men and elves marched against the God, how, how majestic does it feel? I get, I got, I got shivers right now. This feels so majestic. Isn't that the guy from The Matrix? The guy, the guy that played the clone. Our cyberpunk leader. That Isildur, son of the king, took up his father's sword. Sauron, the enemy of the free peoples of Middle Earth, was defeated. But for how long? That is the question. But the hearts of men are easily corrupted. That is true. I, I would not destroy it. I would 1000% put it on my finger. <laughs> From what I remember, he spent time dwelling in the forest. He did not die, Sauron, right? That, that looked a little bit cheap, not gonna lie. <laughs> to his death. Oh, this is a Isildur. God, th th this soundtrack gives me chills. That should not have been forgotten were lost until when chance came it ensnared a new bearer <laughs> our beloved golem our beloved goal it consumed him this was filmed in new zealand right oh those mountain shots the ring brought i know he's ugly but i do not know the extent of the ugliness Poisoned his mind. Well, that's quite an infatuation, I would say. It was picked up by the most unlikely creature imaginable, Bilbo Baggins <laughs> of the Shire. I remember Bilbo being uh, young in The Hobbit. For the time will soon come when hobbits will shape the fortunes of all. I still cannot comprehend how the hell they made three movies out of one book, 250 pages book. Again. That's why I don't watch them. <laughs> uh, this map, the map of the Middle Earth. When I read the books, I would always turn at the end and like, where the hell is the action happening right now? God, this is about to be very exciting. I'm, I'm a very big fan of Tolkien. And back again by Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> Hobbits. Hobbits have been living and farming in the four farthings of the Shire. I'm changing my mind. I'm not an elf anymore. I'm a hobbit. Middle Earth being, after all, full of strange creatures beyond. Looks like an average Malone village, not gonna lie. Being neither renowned as great warriors, nor counted among the very wise. <laughs> for a guy that lived in the village for 18 years, ladies and gentlemen, this... This is very familiar. <laughs> Although I haven't dipped the cow fact, yet. The hobbit's only real passion is for food. A keen interest in the brewing of ales and the smoking of pipe weed. This is the most paradoxical part of this movie. Like, the most peaceful creatures ever. They go on this utmost dangerous task. It is no bad thing to celebrate a simple life. Dicklebats, where is that boy? <laughs> uh, I had a cat called Frodo. Mr. Frodo. My sister is a big fan of this universe. You're late. <laughs> the wizard is never late. 
Frodo Baggins. <laughs> that is meme number one, ladies and gentlemen. Precisely when he means to. <laughs> oh, and that's that's meme number two. That's the Moldovan sex guy, right? I hear it's going to be a party of special magnificence. For things are made to endure in the Shire. There's always been a Baggins living here under the hill. The motive of the lineage, of the ancestral lineage, ladies and gentlemen. He spends hours and hours poring over old maps when he thinks I'm not looking. Well, a guy who has been on an adventure with nine dwarves nearly got killed. I think he has some uh, right to be aware of certain things. He's up to something. All right, then, keep your secrets. <laughs> that is meme number three, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Before you came along, we Bagginses were very well thought of. All I did was give your uncle a little nudge out of the door. What yeah, nearly got him killed like five times, but, you know, it was a good adventure. <laughs> the way they look. As if they're welcoming and not welcoming at the same time. Very strange, those people of the Shire. Well, not people, hobbits, I'm sorry. <laughs> Give the kid some fireworks. Yes, honey. Gandalf? What shall I do, honey? I back? Does Elijah Wood know about this um, this peculiar concept of aging? Because I think he doesn't. <laughs> I think I also have a sign of that nature on my door. And what about very old friends? God, he's tall. God, he's tall. Good to see you. But I think that they use special angles on this, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ, is he tall? <laughs> he looks like Kane from WWE. Just tea, thank you. That is very feng shui, the way everything is arranged in this house, with the round corners and stuff. I can make you some eggs if you look. Oh. Just tea, thank you. <laughs> <I'm> pride. <coughs> I'm not at home! It's the Sackville Bagginses. They're after the house. They've never forgiven me for living this long. That typical aunt you have living in that to nearby to town. Frodo suspect something. He's a Baggins. Not some block-headed brace girdle from hard bottle. Not a stinky dwarf. Not a self-indulgent ale. He's a hobbit. I think in his heart, Frodo's still in love with the Shire. Little rivers. Sometimes you have to leave your home to amplify this feeling of nostalgia, this feeling of love for it, after you come back. But I'm beginning to feel it in my heart. I feel thin. Old Tovin. The finest weed in the South Valley. <laughs> Or 20 time. Or 20 time. <laughs> you were the one Baggins that showed real spirit. Done. I'm supposed to stick it in the ground? <laughs> that is very impressive CGI for the year 2000, ladies and gentlemen. I gotta say that. <laughs> Marriott Brandybuck and Peregrine Took. My dear Bagginses and Buffins, my 111th birthday! Typical Japanese guy. I don't know half of you half as well as I should like, and I like less than half of you half as well as you deserve. <laughs> A little bit pragmatic on that one. A little bit rough on that one. I ha have things to do. I put this off for far too long. I'm going now. I bid you all a very fond farewell. Goodbye. That's exactly the way I want to leave my family someday. That was terribly clever. Come on, Gandalf. There are many magic rings in this world, Bilbo Baggins, and none of them should be used lightly. If it's just a Especially by hobbits. Especially uh, by hobbits. You will keep an eye on Frodo, won't you? Two eyes. I'm leaving everything to him. What about this ring of yours? Is that staying too? It's in an envelope over there on the mantelpiece. Isn't that odd now? 
Th this is also a meme, right? After all, why not? <laughs> 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 After all, why not? We are gathering memes here, ladies and gentlemen. And yes. I think it's the fourth one, right? I don't feel like parting with it. It's mine. I yeah, you possess the ring me. until the ring starts possessing you. Angry. It's your fault. My I don't want to do that. My I don't want to do that. Precious. You want it for yourself. Come on, Baggins. <laughs> do not take me for some conjurer of cheap tricks. Gandalf is a nice parent here. Straight to the point, cut the bullshit, care him a little bit until he shits himself. Trust me as you once did. The ring must go to Frodo. Bilbo, hmm? the ring is still in your pocket. Oh. Yes. Oh. Might be stolen by gypsies, you careful. After all, why not? Oh, and never look back. I thought up an ending for my book, and he lived happily ever after. And I'm sure you will, my dear friend. Goodbye, Gandalf. Goodbye. That's like Shaquille O'Neal touching anyone's hands. The masculine urge to just set off randomly. How old is Gandalf, by the way? I think I couple of thousands, right? That mighty eye of the cyberpunk Sauron. Along with all his possessions. The new head of the table. The ring is yours now. Where are you going? There are some things that I must see to. What things? Questions. I don't understand. Neither do I. Keep it secret. Keep it safe. You know, it is extremely serious if it perplexes even Gandalf. If a wizard is perplexed by something, get the hell out of there. Is that it? Is this the kingdom of Sauron? Sauron! The apocalyptic look of this. This looks like something straight from the Bible. Gandalf is pretty fast. He has good traveling capacities. To get from the Shire near Sauron, near Mordor, it, it takes some time. King of Gondor and the finding of the Ring of Power. All those who follow in my bloodline shall be bound to its fate, for I will risk no hurt to the ring. The markings upon the band. It shrinks. It adapts to the person that holds it. A secret now that only fire can tell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the collectors are here. I'm giving that guy everything if he knocks on my door. I don't care, I'm giving him everything. The excessive joyfulness. Not for long. Teeming with goblins. Far off tales and children's stories, that's all that is. Well, it's none of our concern what goes on beyond our borders. Keep your nose out of trouble, and no trouble will come to you. Hobbits are very conservative in their beliefs, I shall say. Good night, lads. Oh, I mind who you're sweet talking. Rosie knows an idiot when she sees one. Does she? <laughs> <laughs> Don't demolish his expectations, Frodo. Not gonna work, Gandalf. It is not gonna work. Hold out your hand, Frodo. What can you see? So it doesn't even heat it up. 
Doesn't even heat it up. Nothing. There's nothing. There are markings. It's some form of Elvish. I can't read it. Looks more like Arab to me. The language is that of Mordor. Does it, does it have clicks in it? One ring to, to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bind them. One ring to bring them all and in the darkness find them. That is the first phrase that you encounter in the book. Forged by the Dark Lord Sauron, taken by Isildur from the hand of Sauron himself. Bilbo found it in Gollum's cave. Yes, delaying old age, but no longer Frodo. Evil is stirring in Mordor. Now that is some long storytelling. But he was destroyed. Sauron was destroyed. Not quite. Not quite. It was weakened. Frodo, his life force is bound to the ring, and the ring survived. His orcs are multiplied. His fortress of Barador is rebuilt in the land of Mordor. They are one. The ring and the Dark Lord. He must never find it. We put it away. Now that is quite a task. We never speak of it again. Imagine you're a quiet hobbit and just this guy rushes into your town and tells you that Frodo, here is this overly powerful entity that if it gets in wrong hands, it might destroy everything. But now it's your task. Now it's your task to do this. But the enemy found him first. I don't know how long they tortured him. Amidst the endless... Well, it's not going to change anything. Gollum is already a little bit disformed, a little bit disfigured. Maybe it's going to plastically improve something on him. That would lead them here. You cannot offer me this ring. I'm giving it to you. Don't tempt me, Frodo. I dare not take it. Even Gandalf himself has temptations towards this ring. So he needs someone that is absolutely neutral, like a hobbit. It would wield a power too great and terrible to imagine. But it cannot stay in the Shire. No. No, it can't. What must I do? And there it begins. And there the story begins. What about you? I'll be waiting for you at the inn of the Prancing Pony. I don't have any answers. Trust me, Frodo. You'll know what to do. You'll have to leave the name of Baggins behind you. But that name is not safe outside the Shire. Travel only by day, my dear Frodo. Hobbits really are amazing creatures. They are. We are. We are, all that we are amazing creatures. And they can still surprise you. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> Confound it all, Samwise Ganji! I was just cutting the grass under the window there. A little late for trimming the verge, don't you think? I raised voices. What did you hear? N nothing important. That is, I heard a good deal about a ring and a dark lord. And <laughs> the world. Mr. Gandalf, sir, don't hurt me. Nothing of great essence, really. Just a ring that might demolish everything, but nothing of great essence. I've thought of a better use for you. Be careful. The enemy has many spies in his service. In Tolkien stories, forest is always the first chapter. It is the entrance into the unknown. And now Gandalf just went to get some milk or some bread. <laughs> Weren't they four in the book? I think two other hobbies are gonna join them. A Merry and Pip or something like that? I, I do not remember. Like, I'm, I'm a little bit oblivious to everything that has happened. Because five years, it's 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 a lot of time. Especially if the only tool that you had is uh, your brain and your imagination. If I take one more step, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. <laughs> then take it. Take this risk. Don't isolate yourself. There you go. Young pal. Out of boy. It's really an eerie tranquility. What else? I don't think they take kindly to eavesdroppers. They're going to the harbor beyond the White Towers. The Grey Haven. They're leaving Middle Earth. Never to return. It kinda it kinda creeps the shit out of me right now. It makes me sad. I'm scared not to lie. Just shut your eyes and imagine you're back in your own bed with a soft mattress and a lovely feather pillow. With that tempo I'm gonna fall asleep soon. It's not working, Mr. Frodo. Never gonna be able to sleep out here. Me neither, Sam. God, this is gorgeous. Jesus Christ. New Zealand, stop. New Zealand, no more gorgeous pictures, New Zealand. This is too majestic. The Grey 
rides to Isengard. Isengard. Ah, that's where they take in the hobbits, right? My old friend, Saruman. You are sure of this? So the ring of power has been found. They did a great job with the casting, picking the most evil looking guy for this. Your love of the halfling's leaf has clearly slowed your mind. <laughs> Time enough to counter Sauron if we act quickly. I think Saruman might be a little bit segregational in his belief. Sauron has regained much of his former strength. He cannot yet take physical form, but his spirit has lost none of its potency. The Lord of Mordor sees all. His gaze pierces cloud, shadow, earth, and flesh. You know of what I speak, Gandalf. That infamous eye. A great eye breathed in flame. The eye of Sauron. Very soon he will have summoned an army great enough to launch an assault upon Middle-earth. I have seen it. Valentia is a dangerous tool, Saruman. It's searing. My boy is searing. We do not know who else may be watching. <laughs> Sauron's forces are already moving. The Nine have left Minas Morgul. That is the proto-chat roulette, ladies and gentlemen. Disguised as riders in black. They've reached the shore. They will find the ring and kill the one who carries it. Brother. Saruman, stop. Stop. The fact that you are white and he's gray does not mean that you have to overuse your powers. Against the power of Mordor, there can be no victory. We must join with him, Gandalf. It would be wise, my friend. When did Saruman the wise abandon? Reason for madness. The guy doesn't have the ring and is already bathing in temptation. Imagine what Saruman could do with the actual ring. <laughs> this looks a bit goofy, not gonna lie. Looks like a uh, Bruce Lee film. Alright, Tarantino fight scene. Gave you the chance of it, but you have elected. Don't make him do a spinneroni, please. Hey! Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's what I call white supremacy over gray supremacy. A wizard of that caliber aligning Frodo, with Sauron. Frodo. What did he say? Don't you lose him, Samwise Gamgee. Sam, we're still in the Shire. What could possibly happen? No. <laughs> There they are. Now the crew is set. Hello, Frodo. Get off. Somehow the level of uh, elevation of the plane, it is associated with evil. At the beginning you're in the plane field, then you go through some forest, then you go through smaller mountains, then through higher mountains until you reach the peak. I think we should get off the road. Get off the road! Quick! The Dark Riders, right? Or how the hell are they called? <laughs> is that faint or pleasure? I really cannot understand. No, that is temptation. I think those black creatures from Lord of the Rings, they have inspired J.K. Rowling to create the soul-devouring creatures from Harry Potter. I might be actually wrong on this one. Sam and I must get debris. This way! Follow me! My heart is kind of racing right now. I would be absolutely freaked out. Apparently black riders are not very good at swimming. Understandable. You know, like early GTA characters. Come on. We're heading for the prancing pony. There's no prancing pony around here, son. We wish to stay at the inn. All right. Isn't this the actor that played uh, the father of uh, Theon Greyjoy in uh, Game of Thrones? 
This place is quite international. Intermiddle Earthno or something. If you're looking for accommodation, we've got some nice, cozy, hobbit-sized rooms available. We're friends of Gandalf the Grey. Can you tell him we've arrived? Gandalf. Mm. Oh. I think he might have some issues of his own Gandalf right now. After being catapulted into oblivion by Saruman. What do we do now? Pray. Pray. Get, get out of my way. This, my friend, is a pint. <laughs> some pints? <laughs> I'm getting one. <laughs> That's an European when he gets to the United States. That's the first thing he notices. Wait, everything is extra large? That man in the corner. Who is he? He's one of them rangers. The dangerous folk they are wandering in the wilds. Around here, he's known as Strider. Ah, the Strider. The king. <sighs> Aragorn. Aragorn, right? The descendant of a great lord or something. I do not remember. It would take me two milliseconds to put it on. Not gonna lie. If temptation is here, I am here. <laughs> That's another meme. That is another meme. Number five, ladies and gentlemen. Meme number five. How the hell did I not watch it so far? Oh boy. This sounded like the introduction to the Doom game. To the Doom Eternal game. What do you want? A little more caution from you. That is no trinket you carry. I can avoid being seen if I wish. That is a rare gift. Who are you? Are you frightened? Let it go! What I'll have you, long saints! You have a stout heart, little hobbit. You can no longer wait for the wizard Frodo. They're coming. This whole cat mouse game, it freaks me out. It freaks me out. And they're just sleeping. Guys, I think surviving is a little bit more priority in this case than um, taking a nap. That's the IRS coming for some taxes. Okay, they're just sleeping in another place. I I'm dumb. Well, they could have had their god spears. Who'd miss that? They were once men. <gasps> Kings of men. Another meme. Deceiver, gave Number six. Blinded by their greed, they took them without question. And now they are slaves to his will. I have so many jokes in my head right now. They were once men. They were once men. They will never stop hunting you. <laughs> the fact that they were once men, and now they're not men anymore. It implies that there has been a transition that would not make you men anymore. How do we know this Strider is a friend of Gandalf? I think a servant of the enemy would look fairer. <laughs> feel fouler. We have no choice but to trust him. No, 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 he does not look evil. Saruman, on the other hand. The House of Elrond. Did you hear that? Straight to Galadriel. The only female character. Already snow? That was fast. I stopped till nightfall. What about breakfast? We've already had it. We've had one, yes. What about second breakfast? <laughs> that, that's an understandable complaint. Dinner? Supper? He knows about them, doesn't he? I think it is better to be killed while... Well, you're not hungry. Dying on a full stomach, it's its one of the most pleasant things you can do. That is already a trait of a good person. A bad guy would never sing like that. It is the lay of Luthien, the elf maiden who gave her love to Beren. A mortal. What happened to her? She died. Get some sleep. The power of Isengard is at your command. Sauron, build me a army worthy of Mordor. Hell, if I would have been offered the chance to build a legion out of works, I would be on the front line. I would be in the avant-garde. 
trees are strong, my lord. <laughs> kind of remind me of British people. British people, don't. Just a beautiful morning, in it, mate. We should rest here tonight. I'm on Sui. I only remember Amon Amarv. That's because that's a uh, death metal band from Sweden. But when I finally found out that the name was actually from Lord of the Rings, I thought it was quite impressive. Nice crispy bacon. We saved some for you, Mr. Frodo. Put it out, you fools! Put it out! That's nice! <laughs> <laughs> no sense of preserving your life. Absolutely none. Zero. You're about to be Nazgul. Damn! The drip on that guy. <laughs> Why is the ring speaking in Bosnian? Welcome to being possessed by the powers, Mr. Frodo. Now you're officially bound to this piece of metal. Is that maybe the equivalent of giving birth for a guy to understand the pains? Putting the ring on. Fear the fire, especially when it's coming right into you with a, with a great velocity. He needs Elvis medicine. That's the equivalent of going to Germany for a surgery, ladies and gentlemen. Gandalf! I think Gandalf might have issues of his own right now. Orcish folk. Orcish folk. But I think Tolkien uses the term orc interchangeable with the term goblin, or is there an essential uh, difference that I'm not aware of? I don't remember, is Saruman actually aware of the fact that he hasn't killed Gandalf yet? God, this is creepy. Although they look like typical Moldovan folk, this is still creepy. Help me, step orc. I'm stuck. What is that substance? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Is this like the mecha orc, or has he discovered another ring? I don't remember. Is he going to die? He'll soon become a wraith like them. I haven't heard the term wraith since playing Phasmophobia like six months ago. What's this? A ranger caught off his guard? Don't get fooled, ladies and gentlemen. She's like 300 years old or something. He's not going to last. I've been looking for you for two days. Where are you taking him? You see, that is the reason I cannot be an L. I cannot possibly be this noble. Not only, not only. The race is still out there. I didn't actually know that the Nazgul was a raid. It. Thank god they are GTA characters. Thank god the race are GTA characters. But 8 race, 1 health. I think I've seen that video. All of a sudden, Mother Nature is not on the side of the race. Imagine he really dies right now and the, the end credits start rolling. What grace has given me. Let him pass to him. Let him be spared. Where am I? You are in the house of Elrond on October the 24th, if you want to know. I think he looks a little bit better. Yes, I'm here. The elves certainly know something about architecture, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all of those arcs. What happened, Gandalf? Why didn't you meet us? Oh, I'm sorry. I was delayed. Embrace the power of the ring. There is only one Lord of the Ring. Only one who can bend it to his will. He 
he does not share power. So Saruman actually knows that he survived. The scoring of this movie is so amazing. It gives me Hans Zimmer vibes. By the skills of Lord Elrond, you're beginning to melt. Frodo Baggins. The fact that he fought ages ago in that war and he's still alive. That is some elf magic. Reckless, joyful little creatures. Bilbo. A hobbit's tale by Bilbo Baggins. My own adventure turned out to be quite different. I'm not like you, Bilbo. Your adventure, Frodo, deserved three movies. His adventure. We got the ring this far to Rivendell, and I thought, seeing as how you're on the mend, we'd be off soon. That is far from the truth, fortunately. Or fortunately for us viewers, because we want action. We want blood. We want orc blood to be spilled. The ring will be safe in Rivendell. I am ready to go home. His strength returns. It is a burden. He should never have had to bear. We can ask no more of Frodo. Gandalf, the enemy is moving. And Saruman, you tell me, has betrayed us. Our list of allies grows thin. Well, the sooner they betray you, the better. That's what I say. An army that can move in sunlight. Saruman is coming for the ring. We do not have the strength to fight both Mordor and Isengard. They're taking the hobbits Gandalf, to Isengard. The ring cannot stay here. Now, my friend. <laughs> We have a problem. Eddard Stark? <laughs> when the hell did he play in this movie? Oh, this is Orlando Bloom, right? They must decide now how to end it. Who will you look to when we've gone? The dwarves? They hide in their mountains seeking riches. They care nothing for the troubles of others. I think I know who Tolkien was referring to as dwarves. Men are weak. The race of men is... Look at the noses. It's pride and dignity forgotten. I was there, Gandalf. I was there 3,000 years ago. And Isildur took the ring. Where the ring was forged, the one place it could be destroyed. Destroy it! It should have ended that day. The will for power has prevailed again. Isildur kept the ring. There's no strength left in the world of men. A scattered, divided, leaderless. That is one who could unite them. He turned from that path a long time ago. He has chosen exile. I don't think it was voluntary exile. When you are one of the few of your kind left alive. It's so strange seeing Eddard Stark in this role. I, I, I forgot the name of the actor, but it, it, it seems strange to me. But I guess for people that have seen Lord of the Ring first, this is, this is who he really is. We are here on common purpose. Shots of Narsil. We don't take kindly to your types in here. A bit clumsy, this Eddard Stark, I might tell you. Not a sealed or himself. You are not bound to his fate. The same blood flows in my veins. Same weakness. Your time will come. You will face the same evil. And you will. No, I don't really remember this love arc in the book. You said you'd find yourself to me, forsaking the immortal life. I would rather share one lifetime with you. I would rather have immortality. I would rather have immortality. I don't remember two characters kissing in the books. You've been summoned here to answer the threat of Mordor. Each race is bound to this fate, this one doom. In a dream, I saw the eastern sky grow dark. A voice was crying, your doom is near at hand. Isildur's bane is found. I think you have some problems with temptation, my friend. Resist! Resist the urge! For the black speech of Mordor may yet be heard in every corner 
of the West. Why not use this ring? Long has my father, the steward of Gondor, kept the forces of Mordor at bay. Yeah, let's remember what happened to Isildur, my friend. Is Gondor the weapon of the enemy. You cannot wield it. None of us can. It has no other master. And what would a ranger know of this matter? He is Aragorn, son of Arathorn. You owe him your allegiance. This is Isildur's heir. My boy thought he was heir to the throne of Gondor. Oops. Gondor has no king. You have only one choice. The ring must be destroyed. And what are we waiting for? It's gonna take a little bit more than that. The ring was made in the fires of Mount Doom. Only there can it be unmade. How about the US nuclear arsenal? To Mordor and cast back into the fiery chasm from whence it came. This movie is a reference to that South Park episode, I'm pretty sure about it. Into Mordor, its black gates. That is meme number seven, ladies and gentlemen. One does not simply walk into Mordor. Not with 10,000 men could you do this. The ring must be destroyed. I will be dead before I see the ring in the hands of an elf. No one trusts an elf! Thoron sounds very Mongolian. That deep voice of his. I will take the ring to Mordor. I do not know the way. I will help you bear this burden, Frodo Baggins. Here is this GPS, Frodo. Take it. By my life or death, I can protect you. Use uh, Google Middle Earth services. <laughs> and you have my bow. And my axe. axe. Carry the face of his all, little one. If this is indeed the will of the council. Gondor will see it done. Hey! Mr. Frodo's not going anywhere without me. Indeed, it is hardly possible to separate you even when he is summoned <laughs> to a secret council. I might have some suspicions about not being able to separate those two guys. I might have some suspicions. Nine companions. This feels like the first day of school. The fellowship of the Ring. Where Let's we freaking go! <laughs> to the sandy beaches of Shire. Anira Hene Beria di Shenlin. In her heart, your mother knew you'd be hunted all your life. The skill of the elves can reforge the Sword of Kings. I do not want that power. I have never wanted it. You're excessively humble, my friend. My old sword, Sting. Sting! The dagger of Bilbo from The Hobbit. Now that thing has seen some action. The blade glows blue when orcs are close. Mithril, as light as a feather. And as hard as dragon scales. Give him all that loot right now. My old ring. Precious. You look very much like to hold it again one last time. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. That did freak me out. You must carry this burden. The fellowship awaits the ring bearer. When does Gandalf change colors? I know that that happens, but I forgot what specific event triggers that. Mordor Gandalf, is it left or right? Left. Always left. So Mordor is in the south east. From what I remember. I'm not getting tired of repeating it, but it is hella cute. If I lived here, I would have never gone anywhere. I am in complete awe of this, of those amazing sights. And to think that the majority of it is not even CGI. This is real. This is Mother Nature at its best. Good. Very good. <laughs> they look like Hasbulas. Gandalf, we could pass through the mines of Moria. No, Gimli. I would not take the road through Moria unless I had no other choice. So Balin is his cousin. I only know that the names of the dwarves, they sound alike, but I, I, I've read The Hobbit like seven years ago, so I, I don't really remember. That is Hobbit abuse. That over there is Hobbit abuse. It's the wind. Not now. Looks like they're summoning Odin or something. 
We must take the pass of Kalathos. God! It keeps getting more gorgeous, the sides. They keep getting more jaw-breaking. Follow me. It is a strange thing that we should suffer so much fear and doubt for so small a thing. It depends how you define Lil. Maybe in a physical aspect, yes. But the powers, the might it holds. That is not a little thing. That's the anal ring of Saruman. With a viking shield on his back. Now that's who should represent mankind. A guy with a viking shield on his back. So, Gandalf, you try to lead them over Garadras. Where then will you go? This makes me feel a little bit chill. A little bit chill. Although it's pretty warm in here. It really teleports you in that dimension of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Reciting Mongolian poetry. How the hell did Peter Jackson pull this one off? Rohan takes us too close to Isengard! Let us go through the mines of Moria! Moria... You fear to go into those mines. The dwarves delved too greedily and too deep. You know what they awoke in the darkness of Khazadu. How the hell was the name of the creature? How was the creature called in the books? Let the ring bearer decide. <laughs> no, that... That's not very good to put There's so no much responsibility on him. We will go through the mines. So be it. How was the creature called? Now now my brain is terrorizing me because I cannot remember. That, that's a tendency that my brain has. It needs closure on certain things. You feel its power growing, don't you? Evil will be drawn to you from outside the fellowship. Who then do I trust? You must trust yourself. Trust your own strength. <sighs> the walls. Of Moria. Ah, Balrog. He's called Balrog. I only know that in the Lord of the Rings community there has been this uh, intense debate if he has wings or not. Nice LED. The doors of Durin speak friend and enter. What do you suppose that means? This, this fellow is multilingual. Friend, you speak the I'll tell you that. Ah, that's Elvish. Isn't it supposed to be in Dwarfish? Man. Ah, man. Ah, I once knew every spell in all the tongues of elves. What are you going to do then? Knock your head against these doors, Peregrine Took. <laughs> chill, Gandalf. I've tried to find the opening. Gandalf, chill. You do lose some linguistic abilities with the years, especially when you don't have practice with uh, with speakers of that language. That's how I forgot Arab. Come on. Yeah, maybe maybe make a fire, some more noise, Mr. Mary. Or is that Pippin? I always confuse those two. I know that Sam is fat, but those two, I always get them wrong. It's a riddle. Speak friend and enter. What's the elvish word for friend? Melon. It's not dwarfish. I guess the elves, they, they specialize in uh, security systems. Soon, Master Elf, you will enjoy the fabled hospitality of the dwarves. Malt beer, red meat off the bone. Is this where Balrog is? It's a tomb. <gasps> oh. Jesus Christ. Goblins. We make for the gap of Rohan. We should never have come here. Oh, I... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. What the hell is that? Oh, no. That's a tentacle overdose for me. No more tentacles for today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, this is some sort of a kraken, right? Looks a little bit like Cthulhu. Is this supposed to be a, some sort of a Cthulhu reference? Into the mines! My God! We now have but one choice. The long dark. I am a little bit claustrophobic and I'm gonna tell you that I do not enjoy this. This sends shivers down my spine. But at least Gendal has got some sort of a improvised torch here. The wealth of Moria was not in gold, but Mithril. I have no memory of this place. Have you lost? 
if your wizard mentions that he has absolutely no memory of a place. If an omnipotent being like him has no recollection of something, better run. He's been following us for three days. Now the ring has drawn him here. Smeagol's life is a sad story. Yes, Smeagol, he was once called. Before it drove him mad. It's a pity Bilbo didn't kill him when he had the chance. Pity? It was pity that stayed Bilbo's hand. Many that lived deserved death. Some that die deserve life. Can you give it to them, Frodo? Do not be too eager to deal out death and judgment. My heart tells me that Gollum has some part to play here, for good or ill. So it is not up to us to decide who gets to leave and who doesn't. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. There are other forces at work in this world, Frodo, besides the will of evil. Bilbo was meant to find the ring. He's remembered. No. Yeah, it doesn't smell so foul down here. <laughs> That's when you finally leave Moldova. Dwarf city of Dwarvedel. Well, there's an eye opener and no mistake. <laughs> this one is filled with ancients. Oh. No. They have eradicated his bloodline, right? Son of Hundi. Lord of Moria. Oh, no. It's as I feared. Oh. Oh. They have taken the bridge and the second hall. We have barred the gates, but cannot hold them for long. Drums. Drums in the deep. They are coming. <laughs> Oops! You might have awakened a beast, but who cares? Great job, Pippin. Great job. I want to hear Gandalf roast the shit out of him right now. <laughs> Throw yourself in next time and rid us of your stupidity. But I'll give it to him. He does not grow resentful, Pippin. Orcish drums, right? Orcs. They have a cave troll. Well, Bilbo told them how to fight cave troll. I, I would shit myself. Imagine being there, not knowing what awaits on the other side of the door. This is that cave troll, right? That they unearthed. <laughs> it's dagger time. Why is his dagger not glowing? Or are all the orcs already dead? It's almost like a mother instinct from Sam. Almost like a mother instinct. He lacks a little bit of pragmatism, but I'm gonna tell you something that he does not lack. Loyalty. God bless his soul. He was such a nice Redditor. Just some pierced lungs. I'm not hurt. Ah! Good going, Bilbo. Now that is some nice dwarfish technology, I shall say. This uplifting orchestral music of uh, Lord of the Rings make, makes me want to fight someone. Huh? Wanna get it? They have nice reproductive skills. Look at, look at the number of them. when the spiders run away because there's a tarantula approaching. I'm genuinely interested how he looks like. The Balrog. His foe is beyond any of you. Run! Do as I say! 
Swords are no more use here. This reminds me a little bit of Dungeons and Dragons. How I used to play as a rapey pope all the time. Nicely from a man that's like a thousand years old or a couple of thousands. My fear of heights coupled with my claustrophobia. It, it has to be Sam to catch him. It has to be. The battle shall commence. Well, fair enough. This is how I pictured him in my head. With the horns, dragon-like. You cannot pass! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Those two creatures, they, they, they have some ancient history here. People have been waiting for this fight for millennia. Shall not pass! That phrase I do remember. Right into the void of the Middle Earth darkness. Fly, you fools! But I don't remember in the books him saying that you shall not pass. I remember the initial you cannot pass, but the second one I don't remember. Legolas, get them up. Give them a moment for pity's sake. By nightfall these hills will be swarming with orcs. The fear should fuel you on this journey. But although they think that he is dead, I think the instinct of survival is uh, of higher priority here. They say that a great sorceress lives in these woods. An elf. Galadriel, Galadriel, your coming to us is as the footsteps of doom. I have the eyes of a hawk and the ears of a fox. <laughs> when, you, when you excessively flex, that's what happens. The dwarf breathes so loud we could have shot him in the dark. <laughs> they don't really take kind to each other. Realm of the Lord Celeborn and of Galadriel, Lady of Light. I'm not getting tired of reiterating, the elvish architecture is exquisite. So intertwined with nature, I, I just love it. Guys, I think Aragorn's lady is a little bit cuter. What now becomes of this fellowship without Gandalf hope is lost? The quest stands upon the edge of a knife, yet hope remains. Go now and rest. For you are weary with sorrow and much toil. Frodo of the Shire. <laughs> One who has seen the eye. Having a double track on your voice. I would like to possess that ability. Imagine watching this reaction in both English and some Russian, for example. I am translating another language into your mind. For me, the grief is still too near. But they don't mention his fireworks. There should be a verse about them. <laughs> Are you already? It's ever seen. They turn <laughs> blue and green, or after thunder, silver showers came falling like a rain of flowers. Oh, that doesn't do them justice by a lot. I think it should do Gandalf a little bit of justice, not his damn fireworks. But they are forgiven, for they are silly hobbits. These borders are well protected. I will find no rest here. Heard her voice inside my head. She spoke of my father and the fall of Gondor. Even now, there is hope left, but I cannot see it. That's why you're human, and she's an elf. My father is a noble man. He is. He's failing. He looks to me to make things right. I, I would do it. I would see the glory of Gondor restored. Have you ever seen his Aragorn? White tower of Echthelion, glimmering like a spike of pearl and silver. Not as cool as elvish architecture, but... Our paths will lead us there, and the tower guard shall take up the call. The lords of Gondor have returned. Lords? Does Galadriel have an um, OnlyFans? I'm, I'm just asking. <laughs> God damn it, with those feet in your vicinity. God damn. <laughs> Even the wisest cannot tell, for the mirror shows many things. Things that were, things that are, and some things. That have not yet come to pass. 
Is it more powerful than the Seer Stone of Saruman though? I guess it is, because it's three-dimensional. Past, future, present. There is no home anymore. She's just standing there watching all of this. Yeah, let the Dark Lord touch the ring. The fellowship is breaking. It has already begun. He will try to take the ring. You know of whom I speak. If you ask it of me, I will give you the one ring. I do not deny that my heart has greatly desired this. Even an elfish heart is tempting this. A queen! Not dark, but beautiful! And that is a possessed lady. The chorus he voice. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she turned from an elf girl into a goth girl in a matter of seconds. I will diminish and remain Galadriel. I cannot do this alone. You are a ring bearer, Frodo. To bear a ring of power is to be alone. And if you do not find a way... There's no way. No one will. Yeah. Do you know how the orcs first came into being? They were elves <laughs> once. Taken by the dark powers. The mega orc. Torture. A ruined and terrible form of life. Perfected. Yeah. By fighting. Surely perfected. Saruman. That is definitely an enhanced elf version. You do not know pain, you do not know fear. You will taste man flesh! Mm. This is the general. This is the orc general. Bring them to me alive. Kill the others. An entire legion of orcs. I think I've seen this in a recent war. Lembas, elvish waybread. One small bite is enough to fill the stomach of a grown man. Give me a bag of those and I'm not leaving the apartment for a year, at least. Now hold the eastern shore of the Undween. My gift for you, Legolas, is a bow of the Galadrim, worthy of the skill of our woodland kin. These are the daggers of Anoldorin. Elvish arsenal. Heavy arsenal. You will find your courage. And for you, Samwise Gamgee, elven rope made of heathline. Thank you, my lady. Uh, hang yourself. What are those nice shiny daggers? You don't need those. Fight your enemies with love. With the power of a hobbit love. Ask the elves. Nothing. Except to look upon the lady of the Galadrim one last time. For she is more fair than all the jewels beneath the earth. <laughs> Gimli the simp. There was one thing uh, stupid about it. My dwarfish friend has put his eyes on that lady. You have your own choice to make, Aragorn. To rise above the height of all your fathers since the days of Elendil. Or to fall into darkness. Or Veritha. Elessar. Oh, henceforth I will call nothing fair unless it be her gift to me. What was her gift? He is a... He is a sim. for one hair from her golden head. She gave me three. That's one of the simpiest acts of a simp that I have ever seen in my existence, ladies and gentlemen. Is this location also in uh, New Zealand? Because if it's there, I might know my next place to visit. Grant. Bulgaria. Mr. Frodo, I'm here to help you. I promised Gandalf that I would. Don't we all need a Sam in our lives? You can't help me, Sam. Not this time. Get some sleep. Minas Tirith is a safer road. You know that. From there we can regroup. There is no strength in Gondor that can avail us. Boromir and his amazing plan. Yes, there is weakness. There is courage also. You are afraid. All your life, you have hidden in the shadows. I will not lead the ring within a hundred leagues of your city. Good choice. Good choice. This guy's soul has been already penetrated with the idea. It has been peeled up with the idea of, uh, of the ring being in his possession. He does not care about his race. Cares about himself. Long have I desired to look upon the kings of old. <laughs> that is a very specific <laughs> gesture. <laughs> that is a very specific gesture, ladies and gentlemen. 
Do not call a taxi like this in Germany. Do not show this to a taxi to stop. You might be in big, big trouble. Thank God the hand is like this and not like, like this. There we go. The spice of Saruman. Uh, the, this whole scenery is so uplifting. It's incredibly exquisite. You can leave the characters out of it and I could, I could only look at the scenery and be entertained by this movie. We first Mordor from the north. Oh yes? Just a simple matter of finding our way through Emin Muil. An impossible labyrinth of razor-sharp rocks. Festering, stinking marshland as far as the eye can see. I suggest you take some rest and recover your strength, Master Dwarf. Wait, come on, my... Oh. Something draws near. I can feel it. Bullum. Smeagol. Himself. Where's Frodo? Most importantly, where the hell is Boromir? Yes. The orchestral scoring gives me chills. None of us should wander alone. You least of all. So much depends on you. I know why you seek solitude. You suffer. I see it day by day. You sure you do not suffer needlessly? Getting in his mind. Getting in his mind. There are other ways, Frodo. I know what you would say. It would seem like wisdom, but for the warning in my heart. Warning? Against what? They're all afraid, Frodo. There is no other way. I ask only for the strength to defend my people. Lend me the ring. No. There's not going to be your people, you fool. Do you recoil? I am no thief. They will find you. They will take the ring. And you will beg for death before the end. <laughs> oh! It is not your save by our cup. Give it to me! Give it to me! No! Give me the ring! Oh. You will take the ring to Sauron! And you will not, Boromir. You are the saintess of them all. Curse you! What have I done? Please. You are weak spirit and my friend. Looks like a kitty eye. Always looked like a kitty eye to me. Evil kitty. Orange cat. Frodo? Where is the ring? Stay away! Frodo! I swore to protect you. Can you protect me from yourself? Would you destroy it? I would have gone with you to the end. That's quite a will. Look after the others, especially Sam. He will not understand. Go, Frodo. The bath of solitude. That one kind of looked like Mel Gibson. He look, kind of looks like Mel Gibson. <laughs> Come on. Too late. He's getting the hell out of here. Run, Frodo. Go. Hey, you! Over here! Is there anyone more loyal? Then Hobbit, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, a right decision from Boromir. <laughs> the sound of Legolas shooting sounds a bit like something from Star Wars. They're killing those wars, but yet there, there's no visible blood. The Mecha Orc. Or a mirror. He had temptations, he had desires. He might have had a weak soul at times, but he died a hero. God damn it. At least he wasn't decapitated as in Game of Thrones. Oh, 
Oh yeah, they had instructions from Saruman to bring them alive, the halflings. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit arousing for me. <laughs> Typical orcish behavior. Frodo. Where is Frodo? I tried to take the ring from him. The ring is beyond our reach now. I did not see. Well, you have given your I life you for them. You're, you're quite forgiven. Leave it. It is over. The world of men will fall. And my city to ruin. Don't die with that thought. I do not know what strength is in my blood. But I swear to you, I will not let the white city fall. Our people. Our people. Now, with that thought, you can die, yes. <laughs> my captain. My king. In peace. Son of Gondor. The power of will it would take to commence on such a solitary journey. I guess the hobbits have a spirit for adventure. I wish the ring had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. All you have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to you. Not alone! Frodo! Go back, Sam! <laughs> Every one of us needs a friend like Sam. God damn it, he has a mother instinct in him. <laughs> but apparently not a survival instinct. I made a promise, Mr. Frodo. A promise. Don't you leave him, Samwise Gamgee. I don't mean to. Okay, I think the words of Gandalf, they are... They have a certain priority in this case. Uh, this is wholesome. This is wholesome. If it were to be filmed in 2024, they would have kissed. May the tides take you back to Gondor. Frodo's fate is no longer in our hands. Frodo's fate is in Frodo's hands. We kind of end on an uplifting but depressing note. We will not abandon Merry and Pippin to torment and death. Not while we have strength left. Leave all that can be spared behind. That is a true king. Let us hunt some orc. <laughs> the orc slayer. God damn it. As I've said, depressing but intensely uplifting. I'm glad you're with me. Thank you, God. It's not rings of power. What a great movie, ladies and gentlemen. I strongly believe that Tolkien would be very proud of this adaptation. Not only does it preserve the authenticity of his ideas, it also enhances them with the cinema magic. Of course, reading a book is very nice and your own imagination is one of the most powerful tools there is. But having all of those amazing landscapes, it really warms your heart. I will never get tired of repeating myself. I love the paradoxical nature of hobbits. They are very calm and peaceful people, but whenever there is an imminent danger awaiting, they will not abandon their faith. They might be small creatures, but they have huge souls. Apart from that, I think I would have cried have I seen this movie before reading the books. But even with that, the death of Boromir of course saddened me a lot. This movie is way ahead of its time with everything that's graphical. 20 years have elapsed since it was released and it has aged amazingly. But that was it for today. Thank you for watching. This would mean like, subscribe, comment, all the usual stuff and I'll see you next time.